Hello, everyone. Thank you all for being here. My name is Tai Han Yu. I'm a National Taiwan University student. Now I'm going to start my report. The title is Add Polyvinyl Butera to Make High Efficiency Real as Free Fluorescent Materials. The abstract is now that the subpixel size of display has reached the micro level. However, micro LED display cannot be easily mass produced due to the challenge of mass transfer. In this study, polyvinyl butera was used with organic dyes to form a colloidal solution. By adding a specific proportion of polymer, a fluorescent film with a quantum yield of more than 85%. Can be prepared to meet the thickness of the micro LED for the color conversion luminescent layer. The fluorescent dye used in our lab are real as element free fluorescent materials, so this technology will not pollute the global environment. Next is introduction. The first one is the properties of PVB give the fluorescent film. The fluorescent film has good resistance water, oxygen, acid, and alkaline. So the array can not only be fabricated outside the glove box, but also resist the developer. And the film exhi exhibits extremely high conversion efficiency. The second one is innovative spin coating method instead of thermal evaporation deposition method. Conventionally, organic luminescent Molecular films are produced by thermal evaporation, deposition method in this case. We use spin coating method is not only conducive to large scale production but also beneficial for less waste of many materials. The experimental method. We mix the solvents, the fluorescent dye, and the polymer PVB to make the fluorescent solution, and use the spin coater and copper to form the fluorescent film. Then, by using the integrating sphere with a 460 nanometer blue LED to measure the excitation spectra and the quantum yield of the fluorescent film. The results and discu discussion. We use the fluorescent dye DCJTB C454T and PO01TB to make the high quantum yield red, green, and yellow fluorescent film. Table 1 is about emission range, peak light emission, and quantum yield in different fluorescent film. I will use figure 1. Thin emission spectra of the different fluorescent dye to explain the parameter for, from the table one. The first one is the DCJTB fluorescent film. It's red nine. Its emission range is six hundred to seven hundred sixty nanometer. Peak light is six hundred thirty four nanometer. Quantum yield is eighty six point eight percent. The second one is C four five forty fluorescent film. It's green line. Its emission range is four hundred eighty to seven hundred nanometer. Peak light emission is five hundred thirty nine nanometer. Quantum yield is ninety point two percent. The final one is the P O zero one T V fluorescent film. It's yellow line. Its emission range is five hundred forty to seven hundred fifty. Nanometer. Peak light emission is 586 nanometer. Quantum yield is 96.5%. The conclusion is by adding a specific proportion of polymer PVB. The quantum yield of the fluorescent film is more than 85%. It can be seen from the experiment. The quantum yield of C4540 DCJTP and PO01TB fluorescent film are 90.2%, 86.8%, and 96.5% respectively. This method results in a high brightness of 
micro LED chips and retains the high color saturation of displays. It is end of my presentation. Thank you for your listening.